Who's making the laws? Who's passing these bills? I know people who have had to get abortions because their life was threatened. And also, that should be nobody's business. And this trickle down is how people lose rights. Y'all think this happens in one day? It's a slow trickle down. You slowly get used to not having these rights. And then you look up and you have no autonomy over your person, over your freedom, over your rights, over your body. Y'all gonna be like, how did this happen? How did we, how did we get here? Like this. I don't care about politics. I'm from a generation. We don't care about the left or the right. We don't, we don't with none of that. I'm from a generation of people who just care about taking care of people, who care about taking care of the planet, the earth. And it seems like the people in charge don't give a f This pandemic could have been figured out so long ago, bro. And in the midst of it, we're letting laws pass like the one that just passed. Where people are losing the literal right to do what they want to do with their body. They don't care if it's life threatening. They don't care if it comes from rape. They don't care. And why? What's your reasoning? Okay, okay. If, it's, if the Bible says this and the Bible says that, if it's Christianity, if it's your faith, if it's your religion, okay. You have the right to believe whatever you want to believe because of your faith and your religion. But what happened to the separation of church and state? Y'all be finding loopholes so you can sneak things in like that. It's un... It's unconstitutional. Literally. To force religion into laws like this. I understand your belief and I get it. I'm with it. If I get pregnant right now, I'm going to have a baby. You know what I'm saying? Unless I have, God forbid, it's a life-threatening thing. If it's healthy and I can do it healthily, you're right to, you have the right to do what you want to do. But the people who are making laws need to stay the out of people's bodies business and let's focus on the pandemic let's focus on the pack on the fact that there are nurses who are working constantly who don't get breaks who don't get to eat i'm just a singer bro i'm just a singer and my team has been periodically sending lunches to hospitals all over the country since this pandemic began because the infrastructure doesn't support the people who are actually keeping people alive It's so obvious. You can't really put the wool over this new generation's eyes. It's so obvious to us. We see it. We see the carelessness and we also see where we see the solutions. And we're like, why can't y'all just do that? Why are y'all arguing amongst each other? Blue, red, blue, red. And then you have the audacity to criminalize gangs. When y'all, y'all in a gang too. Y'all up here repping your set in Congress and in the Supreme Court. And you want to criminalize black and brown people for doing the same y'all do. It's exhausting, man. People just want to be able to go outside safely. People just want to be able to go to shows. People want to make sure that on a, on a systemic level, the environment is being considered and taken care of. We want to know that we're not going to have hurricane seasons that are catastrophic 
It's getting worse and worse and worse. These fires, these floods, these natural disasters, these storms, they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It's preventable. We all are worried about the wrong thing. And it's like, what the am I supposed to do? I don't even know what to do. I feel so helpless. All I can do is complain about it, but I'm, I'm heartbroken, man. It's like, just care about people. I don't, I don't serve any political party. I'm sorry. That played out to me. Cause it seems like nobody cares. Everybody, everybody, I'm tired. I'm so sad that Bonnaroo was canceled. Um, but we got to make sure people are safe. We can't put people in the the way of the storm. And we also need to be considerate for the people who are suffering because of the storm. I've seen the pictures of the flooding. I've seen the damage. I've heard the stories of people who are losing losing loved ones or losing their homes like i've lived in houston i've lived in houston a long time my whole life from 10 to college i've endured hurricane season f for decades it's terrifying so i just wanted to come on here and just vent because if you didn't know this was happening stay woke please Go do some research on what's going on right now. I feel like if they have the ability to pass an abortion ban right now, they have the ability to make sure nurses are getting fed and getting taken care of, that people are making are being protected and we're not bickering over mask mandates. It's a mask, bro. It's a mask. And we arguing about, well, I, want, I don't wanna wear a mask. If you don't wanna wear a mask, don't wear a mask, but stay away from me. They're literally making it illegal to wear a mask. In schools. Cool. It ain't a restaurant. Okay, I just won't go to your restaurant. Grocery store. I won't, I won't go to your grocery store. In school. So if I pull my child out of school because my child can't wear a mask to protect themselves from a very real virus that I have seen people catch and get very sick from, my own eyes have seen it. It's not a hoax. It's real. You call it whatever you want, but people getting sick. I am breaking the law. I'm crazy. Think about it. I'm worried about the world, man. I am worried about the world. I, I feel like we, we don't care enough about each other. We don't care enough about people on a legislative level. I care about you. You care about me, of course. But on a legislative level, the way these laws getting passed, it seemed like we care less and less about people. And the people who are passing the laws don't look like the people they're passing the laws against. That's, that's the wild part. I'm not here to be political. I'm here to talk about people and the protection of people. It's like they complain about their rights, I'm not free because I have to wear a mask. But then you take away the rights of people who wanna get an abortion. The hypocrisy. I just care about people and I just wanna write songs. I just wanna sing songs and make beautiful music and be happy. But as an artist, it's almost impossible to not reflect the times. Texas, what 
What? All right, I just, I just wanted to say that. Stay woke, go check out what's going on. Stay on top of things. I, for, for people who live in these different states, just know what's happening so that you are not, so you're aware. Y'all be safe out there. Just be safe. And if you are, a young person who wants to go into politics and you want to get into government. I applaud you. I want to see more people that just look like the rest of America writing laws and enforcing them. Laws that actually protect people, not laws to maintain a political party. Like what? Conservative or liberal. We don't care about that. Bro, we don't care. It's like we're all suffering. Okay, I gotta go. I'm gonna just go be an artist, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. I'm praying for everybody. I'm praying for everybody. I'm praying for you. I love you. Be safe out there. All right. Love y'all.